the hookah is nowhere near done, but um, I'll probably have to make a part two anyway, so by then it probably will be. Um, I wanted to make a special, because this is a special occasion for me. Uh, apparently, uh, well I should say today, but uh, tomorrow for some of you I guess, um, on November 16th, let me put it that way, there is going to be uh, a bunch of bills coming across Congress involving censorship of the internet. There's going to be bills involving, um, you know, snooping around on people's ISPs and IP addresses, which private companies can do anyway. Uh, there's going to be things involving how you have to put your real name on the internet or else it's considered a false identity, which you basically have to do anyway on Facebook and many other websites, such as YouTube, which uh, I know from experience that you cannot put uh, a blatantly fake um, birthday. If you put like 1886 or something, uh, they will not validate your account. So, what's the point? What's the difference between the state doing it and a private industry doing it? If anything, I'd rather the state do it because the state will be less discriminate about it. It won't pick and choose when the rules apply. It'll apply to everybody equally. So, um, that's one good reason to support these initiatives. Another reason to support them is because I honestly hope that it will end big websites like YouTube and Google and uh, MySpace and Facebook and shit like that. They keep saying that it will. They keep swearing up and down that these websites will kill the internet and kill large websites like this. God, I hope so. I really do. I'm just so sick of the internet. I'm so sick of getting banned everywhere. I'm so sick of getting treated like shit. I'm so sick of not being able to know if tomorrow I'll be able to post on the same website. You know, you know what that's like to get up in the morning, to go check your Facebook or your YouTube, and to know in the back of your mind it might not be there, and there's nothing you can do about it. There's no amount of pleading, there's no amount of bargaining, there's no amount of being a nice guy that can officially protect your rights. Because they think they have the, they think they have the authority to do this, and I shouldn't have to bend over backwards and beg and plead with them in order to keep my fucking account. I don't have to subscribe to their specific guidelines because what the fuck do I do that's so bad? Am I telling you how to make a bomb? Am I giving out credit card numbers? I should be doing those things because that would get back at them for all the pain and torment they put me through, but I'm not doing those things. I'm really giving you my opinion, I'm giving you some articles to look at, I'm being an informant, I'm being an opinion box, and occasionally I make a funny joke here or there. So what is it that YouTube thinks they've had the right to delete several videos, give me strikes, and delete previous accounts over? So that's what I'm hoping here for. Uh, if I cannot be free on the internet, I don't want there to be an internet, period. And uh, isn't it ironic that the websites that are most vocal about freedom of the internet and man, this is oppressive in the government, how come it's always websites that ban people? 4chan, for example, has a big thing on the website about uh, contacting your congressman about this shit. Like 4chan is has any room to talk about censorship. They're one of the most ban happy websites on the web. Uh, you know the same goes for the white supremacist board 4chan or uh, the drug pushing board 420chan or uh, you know SovietEmpire.com or RevLeft or whatever. They're all the same. They're all hypocrites. They're all pricks, and they have it coming. The only reason why they're against this is because they're little precious fascist utopian snow globe where they can shut the whole world out in, a, in an autistic vision and tyrannize the people on their website is coming to an end. The, the fact that somehow a bigger fish has emerged that's going to eat them makes them very afraid. And it sh they should be afraid because this little fish is going to help that big fish find them and devour them. And there's going to be blood and fish guts everywhere and it's going to be fucking awesome. So that's what I'm trying to say here. And in the second video, I will, I will show you in words how the internet, used, the internet used to be a very positive thing for me. I was about 16 when I first had the internet, and uh, I will go, I will run down with you how my 
you know, for when my once optimistic view of the internet became pure cynicism. And I will also go into what I emailed personally to congressmen and shit about all these bills and everything that imposes on our freedoms, like we have freedoms to begin with. Um, but I just wanted to make an introduction because I'm very excited about this and hopefully one of these bills passes and fucks them all in the ass. So, uh, I guess that's it.